What's up guys, you're back with Technic and today I have an Antutu benchmark run between the OnePlus 8 Pro, Oppo Find X2 Pro, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, Oppo Ace 2, Realme X50 Pro, Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, Redmi K30 Pro Zoom Edition, Xiaomi Black Shark 3 Pro and the Nubia Red Magic 5G. Nine phones on my table, the most phones I've ever had. Three phones on the left hand side have 12 gigs of RAM, the rest of them are all paired with eight gigs of RAM. It shouldn't affect the test since it's about speed of the RAM and not really about the amount of the RAM on each individual device. We have all of the softwares updated to so the latest software updates since we do have updatable drivers with the Snapdragon 865 processing chip. The three phones on the left are 120 hertz panels. The phone all the way on the right hand side, the Nubia Red Magic 5G has 144 hertz panel. And then the rest of them have 90 hertz panel with the exception of the Redmi K30 Pro, which is capped at just 60 hertz. So it shouldn't make much of a difference to the final results of this Antutu benchmark run. Moving on from this, we have QHD plus resolution is on the three phones on the left hand side as well as the Black Shark 3 Pro though we have dropped them to full HD plus since that is what's native on the rest of the devices over here so we're trying to keep things a little bit more even when going through the Antutu benchmark run version 8.3.3. We've also enabled all of the high performance or gaming centric modes on every single device though strangely the Black Shark 3 Pro doesn't give you an option to add Antutu to Shark Space so we're not going to be using any form of high performance on the Black Shark. Guys this is tech Nick, and these are nine monstrous Snapdragon 865 processing chip phones. I can't wait to see the results. Without further ado, let's go. We're gonna quickly do a start of battery percentage, battery degrees in Celsius, as well as CPU degrees in Celsius at the start of the test here. The coolest in the CPU department being the Samsung. We'll refer this to the end of the test to see what gets increased or decreased across all nine devices. I have just made sure that we do have all the performance modes on and we have super performance mode on the Nubia, which we have just enabled there through game space. We're currently running at 100% real time, as you can see at the bottom over there. When we speed things up, that will be 2400%. We started the three phones on the left at the same time, four phones in the middle at the same time, and the two gaming phones on the right hand side at the same time. So if you see the phones on the left going slightly quicker than the phones on the right, it is because I don't have more than two hands. Sorry for that guys, but seriously, nine Snapdragon 865 processing chip phones. The most amount of phones I have had in one video on my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for crazy mass comparison just like this one and if you guys are interested in huge comparison videos such as these nine phones all bundled together let me know I will be doing charge and drain tests on all nine devices very soon so please stay tuned for that one guys so far all of them look really nice and smooth during this Antutu version 8 race over here this is my favorite part of Antutu version 8 which is the terracotta soldiers this is actually in a province called Xi'an in China and I have seen the terracotta soldiers they've made it look quite a bit different for the test with all the snow and stuff it looks absolutely phenomenal in the test you can see a bit of jitteriness on all of the devices snapdragons 865 is run on 7 nanometer plus technology it is doing a fantastic job across the board but this is a very heavy part of the test that's why you see a little bit of a jitteriness here even with high refresh rate panels now even though we have high refresh rate panels here a lot of them except for the redmi k30 pro it doesn't mean that we are necessarily using them when running the antutu version 8 test over here it just means that we have that accessibility so i just thought that i'd let you guys know the specs of these devices as well. I know that Antutu have, has currently been removed from the Google Play Store. If you guys would like it, just head on to Google and type in Antutu version 8 APK download and you can download it from there. The latest version is 8.3.3, which is what I am currently running on all of these phones over here. So far, you can actually see some of the phones in the middle have actually surpassed the phones on the left hand side, but the highest score doesn't necessarily mean that it needs to finish first it doesn't really it's not really a time race here it's more of a score race i have gone back down to 100 percent real time here just so that you guys can see the refresh rate panels i'm not quite sure if antutu actually let high refresh rate panels use the software but there it is anyway at the end of the test we have the phone dropping the most in battery percentage being the two oppos over here and the red magic 5g dropping by six percent the one that added the most in degrees celsius here was the xiaomi adding 3.5 degrees celsius and it was also the hottest phone of the bunch. The OnePlus was the coolest phone of the bunch, but the Samsung added just 1.3 degrees Celsius in the battery department. So it added the least amount of degrees 
to it during the test, which is absolutely incredible since so many of these phones have active fans and active cooling in them. Samsung has an active cooler in it, but it's doing a great job nonetheless, especially in the CPU department here. Also the coolest phone over here and adding the least amount of degrees Celsius, the S20 Ultra, just adding two degrees Celsius with a total of 33 degrees. The hottest phone being the Black Shark 3 Pro, Mi 10 Pro and the two Oppos as well, but the Black Shark 3 Pro actually added the most in degrees Celsius there, five degrees Celsius. First place, the Oppo Find X2 Pro with 602,000, the only one with over 600,000 points here. Oppo Ace 2 in second place with 595, Oppo is doing great here. Third place, the Xiaomi with 594,000. Fourth place, the Realme with 589. Fifth place, the Redmi with 588. Sixth place, the Nubia. Seventh, the Black Shark. Eighth, the OnePlus. And dead last, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra with just 551,000 points. I do have the Snapdragon version of the phone. The best CPU award is allocated to the Oppo Ace 2 here with eight gigs of RAM and a Snapdragon 865 processing chip. The best GPU is awarded to the Redmi K30 Pro Zoom Edition. Best memory is awarded to the Oppo Find X2 Pro. And the best user experience, surprise, surprise, goes to the Nubia Red Magic 5G. That monster of a phone had to come out on top in something. Guys, this is Technic. I hope you enjoyed this test and I'll see you in the next one.